Welcome into the Bourbon Lounge. It's your boy, Brad Starks. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, give a thumbs up, hit the alerts button so you know anytime I drop a review video. This fine gentleman over my shoulder here, Mr. Frank Sinatra, was a big fan of the whiskey I'm going to review tonight. We're going to get on that Jack Drizzy 10 Yizzy. and Jack Daniels was just a small distillery and as the legend goes Mr. Frank Sinatra walked on stage with a glass of Jack Daniels whiskey and said ladies and gentlemen this is Jack Daniels it's the nectar of the gods Jack Daniels instantly turned from a, a no name distillery to a household name, thanks to Mr. Frank Sinatra. And he watches me drink my whiskey every night. And tonight, we're gonna get on one of my favorites, this 10-year expression of Jack Daniels. This is the first 10-year age stated whiskey by Jack Daniels in over 100 years. And it's a 97-proof Tennessee whiskey that they only made 24,000 bottles of this. Retailed for $70. I'm going to try it for you tonight. Let you know what I think. And see if it's worth it. Now this Jack Daniels is different than your usual old number seven, right? That is pulled from several different areas of the warehouse. This Jack Daniels 10 years is unique in many ways. For the first eight years of its life, it stayed on the top floor of their Rick houses. For the last two years, they brought it down to the floor, which gives it a dry, but a rich flavor profile. And they don't do any other expressions that way. So let's check out the nose. The first thing you can get, this is a very, very banana forward whiskey. I get banana Laffy Taffy on the nose. Very, very dominant banana and very, very dominant oak barrel. It's been aged for 10 years up on that top floor. You can definitely smell the barrel. And then I get a little bit of lingering of brown sugar. Like if you were to open the brown sugar after you buy it from the store in the box and open the bag and then smell it, that's what I get on the nose here. All right, let's go in for the palate and let's see what this finish is like. Cheers. Oh yeah, instantly, instantly across the palate. I'll talk about that. You get a, a, a very small Kentucky hug. And again, this is a Tennessee whiskey, but it follows all the rules of being a bourbon. So it could be classified as a bourbon, but again, they're known for Tennessee whiskey. Very pleasant, very pleasant feel. It's almost gone a little bit, a little oily. gone all right you can definitely pull out a lot of these flavors in this this is a very very rich jack daniels even the single barrels if you find the single barrels at the store those are aged around seven years and i have a few of those i also have the frank sinatra select jack daniels don't flex on but this 10 year is a very very rich Jack Daniels. Nothing like the single barrel. Nothing like your number seven you're used to drinking. Nothing like that Jack Daniels Frank Sinatra edition. Very, very 
very dry. Just completely dries you out. The, the oak barrel, it's almost like someone hooks up a... Sucks all the air out of your mouth and just dries your your tongue and inside your mouth just completely dries. Just completely wipes out everything. Just dries like chalky. Like it just evaporates everything. But it's not, it's not an unpleasant taste. It's not an unpleasant feeling. It actually makes you feel like you're drinking a very old whiskey. A very mature whiskey complex whiskey it's actually a very very pleasant pleasant taste on the finish you get that banana you get that banana again but it's not as much of the candy this time it's almost like some type of banana dessert um like not not as strong as banana pudding but maybe like sauteed bananas and brown sugar like a very delicious banana being sauteed on brown sugar very very enjoyable let's see if i can get one more one more flavor profile out of here I mean, the nose and the palate are almost identical. I get the brown sugar. You get the brown, the, the sauteed bananas and brown sugar, an oakiness. There it is. A very, very slight tobacco. Almost like a dry tobacco leaf. I don't know if any of you smoke cigars, but if you're smoking a cigar and part of the cigar leaf falls off and it's in your mouth and you're like, Right, you pull it out. It almost has that flavor profile here in on the on the palate. Very, very enjoyable bourbon. I love this Jack Daniels. This has opened up really, really well in the, in the last six months. I remember when I first popped it, it was very, very dry. It wasn't an everyday sipper. It was a, a unique once in a while. Enjoy some Jack Daniels. You know, top of the line Jack Daniels. I would consider this. Um, but now it's like you could probably sit and drink this whole bottle in one sitting. It's really, really good. Excellent, excellent bourbon. Nothing like you've ever experienced with Jack Daniels. It's 97 proof whiskey, which Jack Daniels doesn't have any 97 proof whiskeys except for this 10 year old. If you can get your hands on this or even a sample of this, I would highly recommend it. Hopefully, hopefully you get a chance to try this. If you have, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming by to the lounge. This has been your boy, Brad Starks. Remember, follow, subscribe, get alerts, like. We'll do a live stream once we get 100 subscribers. I appreciate you tuning in. This has been Brad Starks at the Bourbon Lounge. Jack Drizzy, 10 Yizzy. Cheers.